Welcome everyone, it's the Black Rainbow. I'm going to do a reading for you. It is the 10th of June. Please keep in mind it is only a general reading. Uh, love messages and uh, whatever else I can uh, download in the time that we have together. Please uh, like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment when the comment section is open. <laughs> I uh, also have the other channel. Uh, which is the Rainbow Wizard channel, so uh, I have been posting individual readings there. Um, yeah, so check it all out. I hope you are doing amazing by the way. We are in Gemini season, so happy birthday to anyone that is a Gemini. I hope you have a, a wonderful, wonderful celebration. I am using the giant Rider Weight Tarot deck. I'm going to give it an extra shuffle before I look into your energies. Hmm, someone is... Uh, thinking about good old times or they are stuck on a memory with you and them that now is like a treasure to them, is a diamond to them, but they maybe didn't treasure it at the time and now you are just the greatest thing that ever happened to them. That's what I'm picking up. Some of you met this person maybe six years ago, some eight years ago, maybe some hundred and eight months, eight weeks I'm picking up. Okay, spirits, let me know when I should stop. Okay, asking you to divide the deck here. Yeah, there will be a lot of action uh, in the next, in a week or so. Action, action, action. Now, underneath the deck, there's three of swords. I'm seeing that you might have healed your heart. You might just be, okay, I am so happy that I've healed my heart. I'm going on an exciting journey. And uh, this journey is all about me journey. That's the journey I'm going on. Someone is, um, like I see someone here is very much, uh, well, they were on a crossroads. They're not on a crossroads anymore. I'm seeing that this person, someone that lied, cheated, was stealing, um, they were hiding, they never really gave that much. <laughs> Uh, they never did much than watching, watching without doing anything. This person, now they, um, yeah, very much uh, put you on a pedestal still. But this person here is, well, as far as these cards show, I'm seeing someone here um, being absolutely useless. Um, who is this energy here? This is someone that kind of, <laughs> they live live off juggling <laughs> maybe maybe they see this person here as an in a festival or something behind them as a circus uh this is someone that always have something going on like they always like they always drop something they always try to steal something from wherever from wherever they go um like they also have sticky fingers this person don't invite them around your house. <laughs> they have a super sketchy energy. Oh my goodness. All right. But before I uh, judge uh, this person or this energy any further, let's just dive into it, shall we? What's going on? What's going on around this particular person? Or maybe it's just an energy. Uh, we shall see. They have the seven of swords in there. I would say that's closest to home. So, well, well it's possible that this person have had feelings all along, but they told themselves that they don't have any feelings. They told you they don't have any feelings. They told everyone they don't have any feelings, but that is not true. Now this person decides to, well, they're nosy. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know everything. They, they're not confused anymore. Perhaps because this person's going through spiritual awakening. Perhaps they're going through pain. That's sometimes when uh, yeah, there is an, an enlightenment. Uh, I see this person is no longer with someone. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You possibly have Pisces, Cancer. I'm picking up Cancer uh, in your chart. So this person's um, ways, kind of juggling, kind of trying to balance something that didn't really work balancing out. This person didn't really have a plan. This person, uh, I'm seeing that, um, oh God, two, two, of, uh, two of pentacles, two of pentacles, why is it here? Right, now all this person, they wanna invest. Like I see this person, like they never really invested anything. 
You know, that they're not confused anymore. That's good. They want to take control, but they've been confused and they've been on a crossroads and now they're like, okay, their treasure is now some, there's always some somewhere else with this person. I see someone, they're quite lazy. They're really lazy. They, they can repeat something over and over and over. Uh, they could, there's something to do with the tower moment happening around them. Yeah, see, could be a Virgo. This person, they might have an addiction that they're giving up, but giving up an addiction and then changing their whole life doesn't happen overnight. It's something about they are trying to give up player ways. They're trying to show up to you uh, in this bright, shining armor and they are planning to... Um, I see someone that basically they think their absence make your heart grow fonder so that they can possibly make some kind of appearance because you and them are a power couple. There has been an ending. Uh, yeah, this person is now telling everyone that all along it was you they love because now they can just dig the, dig the fork into whoever they're upset with. That's what they do. And they're angry. They're reckless. And now you are the greatest thing that ever happened to them. I don't really see this person, you know, this person is someone that they only think what's right in front of them right there and then it's, I'm picking up and perhaps this person could be struggling from depression bipolar of course that's difficult to um, uh, if anyone is uh, in that situation uh, I can only imagine that the decisions uh, are not like someone that do not have uh, those issues but because I'm picking up someone that is um They are. They have fear. They have been uncertain, but they're not uncertain anymore. This is someone that will, uh, you know, they they find you very beautiful. It's like they're in agony over your beauty, like you're painfully beautiful to them, and they're they're just always sad because they maybe they, you know they they can't touch you. They can't get close because if they ruin that whatever they they feel like with you, they have some kind of image that maybe it's still with you so that's the only place in the world I'm getting with the world car that that they uh, you know it's the only place in the world where maybe you know there's a star for them in the sky is that you have a, a star for them in your roof you you will always see them as a certain and you haven't seen how they have misbehaved you have uh, probably detected it but they they hope that you know because you haven't seen it in pictures this person feels that well, that they, there is a chance, uh, there is a chance, but, so, well, collective, you definitely have abundance, you have abundance, money is growing on trees, money is raining on you, you're treating yourself to luxury, if you can, you will have plenty with that here, you are going to receive very good news in finances, you are going to have more than enough. Oh, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. There is someone else that finds you painfully beautiful as well. This person could be the King of Cups. This person could feel their hands are tied, but this person, they definitely will come forward as well. Again, there is a lot of people finding you very beautiful. Uh, there is a lot happening around you, collective. You're going to have options. Yeah, you're going to have options. You are being held uh, up on a pedestal as if you are royalty, maybe even higher than a royalty. Um, there is a really beautiful energy around you. Uh, I can hear ching, 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 like coins, coins, like you're winning something. Uh, it's like, oh, you are grateful. You are accomplished. Like you do things for yourself. Uh, and um, I just see there is a Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Passionate new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. I knew there was a reason why I was going to do this reading for you. Oh, I see now someone. Oh, I don't think it is this person, you know. Too, too much of a shame for them. I don't know. We're going to find out. You, collective, have got yourself a new beginning and you have 
you know, your shelves are stacked up with everything you need. Uh, you have fire in your stomach, you have fire in your, you're passionate, you have, uh, there's justice, so you are sort of liberating yourself, you are out there, you feel happy, you could meet someone when you travel or someone is come traveling towards you, this person's very serious about you, this person is, finds you also very beautiful, there might, if someone is, uh, there is someone here, like the chariot, they could have, um, they could have cancer, uh, but they could have uh, Taurus, Cancer Taurus is here. Um, you are the one with the trousers. I'm seeing there. You are. Uh, there is absolutely nothing and absolutely no one that can stop you. But someone is going to appear out of nowhere. Yeah, someone is about to appear out of nowhere, and. Yeah, well, let's have a look at that. So we have the um, the fool, the fool, the fool. You are starting over. It's as, it's as if you are a new day, new me. It's like properly makeover. You could really do a makeover. You could invest in your body, like exercise. Uh, you could, you know, get any kind of cosmetic work done. Uh, you could uh, like uh, spend money on a whole new wardrobe. I feel there's two single people, but wealthy people coming together. Like there's something about you that's very wealthy. You don't have to have. There's not a. There's not a specific amount here on the. There's not a specific amount to be wealthy, but this is love, mutual caring and attraction. Combining, yeah. It's something about combining your resources, this next union that you are moving into. It could be you're getting a raise, respect and gains dedicated to each other, mature love. This person could have Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. So... I'm seeing that now there is a twin flame vibe here and this whole week and still going going on this week. Now there's something about releasing a karmic twin flame and you just know this twin flame is like you have healed from someone. You just maybe this person like you. You also healed a shadow side uh, that, like, you, that was there or active. You felt that was still active because you were still longing for this person, but you are re and as like deactivating it, not react, deactivating that for the time being. You are deactivating a connection, a cord to a twin flame. Yeah, and dodging this reunion. Someone, okay, so, yeah, you have a person over here. This person is now telling everyone, posting flyers wherever they are saying that, and because they are putting up on pedestal, telling everyone, you know, what they were prepared to do for you. They think that is enough. They haven't told you, but they told, you know, they told everyone they're crying crocodile tears too, so that they get some kind of attention. This person believes that when they show up, that you and them will just, you know, ride into the sunset together. There is someone that you will be riding into the sunset with, for sure. It's very passionate. Uh... I feel it's a Libra with, with Earth in their chart, maybe born on, born on the cusp. But it's not them. It's not this person here. And that's not going to go so well with this person because this person is not used to getting a no. Or now they will be used to it. I, I just don't feel it's this person. But we're going we're gonna to continue. Um, we're going to continue. And so I, I need to prove it to you. Who is this person, spirits? Who is the collective going to move towards? Who's coming towards them? I, I can most definitely say that um, I'm picking up Aries, um, that you are Aries perhaps, or you are Libra, and you are Cancer. That's for many of you, that's you. I feel the person that is coming into your life that 
you, is one of the three opportunities where, you know, someone that you haven't tried before. It's like some a romance you haven't tried before. It feels very... It feels very aligned with who you are now, how you feel now, what you need now as well. A Leo energy is here. Traveling into karma shores. Something about moving away from like competitiveness or moving away from like, it's going to be more of a peaceful environment. I feel that yeah, there's something about, you feel like, oh God, I, I couldn't have, yeah, you're traveling away from depletion, you're traveling away from something going downhill, yeah. I feel that you have, I'm going to get another deck, I feel here that it's like, so there could be someone trying to compete for you or compete with you, don't know about it, someone that queen up ones here um but i feel that is you as well there's something about a third party here that's there's a divorce so someone that you're meeting they have gone through a divorce so so that could be a little bit too close to that divorce but something is happening here very fast uh they didn't plan it you don't plan it uh okay anything else here who is the king uh, queen of um actually i'm going to look over here this emperor and the empress. What is that about? Could it be them? It's possible, you know. There is... Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer Leo, what is going on here? Okay. Their intentions, please. Their intentions, please. Their intentions, please. You're dealing with a Leo or Cancer, born on the cusp, or Virgo. Yeah, this could be the same person, or Aries, or Pisces. Yeah, this could be them. They're keeping something very low-key, you know. The Chariot, please. Someone's been... If, if you have been away from someone for ages, and this is a connection that you... Yeah, that's that someone have been missing uh, in action for the longest time. Uh, yeah, this could be an Aries, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Cancer. This person has been on a crossroads. They're about to show up. There has been a bankruptcy. There has been uh, like spiritual warfare. They, they have been dealing with someone. I feel like they've been dealing with someone very much corrupt. What, is, what about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? What about that? Child, why is the... Why is the, the, the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Okay, so someone here has gone through inner turmoil. Deep-seated fears and secrets, releasing worry, hope, reaching out. This person had unpaid debts and there is something about feeling stuck by those unpaid debts. Um, if you have water in your chart this person you know they know you have healed they know maybe you're wealthy as well i do see this person why is the the chariot work you know this chariot is here unpaid debts uh the six of one so i do see this person going through a big change they are thinking about you a lot they want to fight for you this person, yeah, there is someone here that is going through a transformation. I do feel, however, that that uh, <clears throat> I mean, for some of you, you might get back together with this person, or there is a this person going to travel to see you, and there is you're going to hear about a third party, something chaotic. I feel for for some of you, like this person will just show up. They're gonna show up. But there is a Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of you might know this person as well. What is this? So who is the, uh, the, the King of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles. Temperance. Mm, and where's the Temperance here? So I feel that there is a person coming out of a situation, long-term relationship, been in agony, this uh, stuck in some kind of debt, 
thinking maybe in a narrow mind, thinking that, oh gosh, there's only one way out or there is no way out. That's possible as well. I see this person... Um, I feel that someone is coming out of the woodworks that you kind of have been, kind of have been looking at. Like, it's weird. Like, there is a lot, like... So someone is going to suddenly give you a lot of attention. Like they're traveling towards you, boom, they're here. Um, they've gone through a third party ending. This is new beginning, new opportunity, starting fresh, new beginning on love. You could have uh, Aquarius, Libra or Libra I'm picking up in your chart. Then you have someone else here. There's someone also traveling towards you, but I think you will end this. But it's a lot of chariot. There is like, with the eight of wands, it's... It's, I don't know, it's like someone put an advert out and, okay, it's, uh, now, now it's too many. It's a bit like me when I put up my personal readings, I'll be suddenly, no, 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 it's too many. Uh, you know, it's like, no, 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 it's, uh, but they're doing, the, it's like you put an advert out and, and then, then you didn't, obviously, the universe put an advert out for you and suddenly you are, you are literally seeing someone, like you could see several people posting pictures that they are traveling to the same destination as you, which is where you live. Like there could be something like that and you are like, I, am I just seeing right? Am I seeing this person asking me out and this person is traveling to where I live? There's three people. There's a lot of attention on you and it's as if, yeah, there are, it could be social and you could post pictures or there's something you are celebrating and I'm just seeing people like, oh my God, have you seen so-and-so? Oh wow, me too. Or all these people could be separate from each other and then they decide, oh, that's it. It's, it's time for me to make a move. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we just travel? Why don't we just travel to, to you? So someone is going through a breakup with someone and it's very, like it's like a long-term breakup and someone know they can't really show up to, to like where you are unless like they have been broken, like that, that they have been separated for a while, but they know they cannot wait that long because you're going to be off the market or you are just going, not going to be interested anymore. Uh, can I get something? Sorry, I'm tired today. Uh, why is the, the Nine of Pentacles here twice for the collective? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here twice? Yes. Someone regrets. Should have, would have, could have. Because someone manipulated them to stay. Someone is very karmic. Someone is... See, there is a karmic connection here. Like a really, really karmic connection. There's several, there's so many people here. King of Wands in the reverse, the King of Pentacles upright, uh, the Justice, the King of the Emperor in reverse. Uh, there is just like a messy situation. There could be a child, but like you see, you're not interested in it, but I see someone is going to cut loose. Someone will manage to hide uh, their situation. They will not get you involved, but someone else might not be able to because, yeah, you are protected from certain energies. You also also tend to pick up like what your, your intuition is strong I'm picking up you you just you just can vibe with who is in what circumstance I'm just seeing someone in is in some kind of circumstance and they just they just know that there is no there is no point um even pulling out the car out of the garage if they are going to if they can't keep their circumstances basically away from where they're going. But if someone's going to take the next boat after them, the next plane, they're not going to enjoy themselves very much. But there is a person here that there is a reunion, uh, Ace of Wands. This is someone, yeah, I'm just seeing this is Ace of Wands is very passionate. Um, yeah, very, very passionate. And there is someone here, I'm telling you, Cancer Chariot, the King of Cups, the, oh my God, the Hierophant. 
there's competition for you, absolutely. Someone is getting a taste of their own medicine. I'm going to tell you that much. Uh, the collective, someone is getting a taste of their own medicine. They thought that they were playing the field. No, not, not compared to you. <laughs> that you don't even plan to play the field, but suddenly there is like a whole whole a range of suitors uh, suddenly like sending you a message check your phone right now <laughs> you can check your phone right now i'm not kidding uh, you have so many invites so many messages and there is people are not even they don't even care that other people want you as well like there is people queuing up like check your phone right now <laughs> I'm telling you, we have Sagittarius, we have uh, Virgo, we have uh, Cancer, definitely Cancer, definitely Libra. Wow. Like someone does it, they don't mind fighting for you, they don't mind at all. They don't mind that you are even dating other people. Like someone here will like, they're like, okay, I do whatever, I do whatever I need to do. Wow. And they're all coming with a, with a chariot. <laughs> they're all in the same plane. <laughs> there is so... The, things are going so fast. Things are going super fast. Um, and there is an ending for someone. Someone have had trouble with the law. Mm, they they might like stay where they are. There's marriage on the horizon for you, collective. It really is an exciting time for you. You have more than one person, like for sure. And you have not even been on a date uh, or dating I'm picking up. You're like, you haven't even tried. People around you could be like, how are they getting all these suitors? Like queuing outside their door they don't they're not even interested yeah there's that vibe around you you're you just have suitors waiting uh, outside your door yeah there is someone that you have separated from this person yeah they want to come back there is uh, an official person oh this person could be cancer this person could be um Leo, this person could be um, Taurus. See, what you're doing, you are, yeah, you are enjoying yourself. With the Nine of Pentacles, you are just enjoying yourself and keep enjoying yourself and you don't really care about anything else. Someone you've separated from, they have financial issues. Someone here you will retreat with. Great fortune. Wow, so collective, you uh, you're going to be a privileged lady, privileged lady. And be careful, be really careful of, uh, there is a murky energy around you. I, I see that this person, they try to steal something from you, but they, they've been caught. We could have bad health. Yeah, I'm telling you, Someone has bad health. They have, unfortunately, there is someone that have untreated, an untreated health that is, um, yeah, that's that. It has to do with their digestive, that digestive system. It could turn really serious if they don't do anything about it. They are very stressed. Uh, they are suffering from a mental, also health condition because of it. So they are not acting. They're not acting with like their senses because they have bad, they have a really bad health. Um, so if you know this person, you might give them advice. You might send them love and healing. Um, what else is coming up for this person? Why, why do, why, why is the, um, the moon, the moon, what does that mean? Yeah. See, this person have been impacted by a lot of stress, um, they could have become a father or mother figure in a very young age. They stayed for too long, wrapping up a cycle. They've taken on too much stress, too many burdens. See, they don't get anywhere. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, there is, um, they're very slow. Unfortunately, there is, 
a karmic connection that's going on, off, on, off. There is a lot of anxiety, a lot of bickering. Uh, there's a child here. It's a car they're in a karmic, real karmic connection. They they don't really, they never really, um, I see someone here and yeah, we have the death card again, the, the, the devil. See this, this person here, um, oh, they're in a really calm connection. I mean, really like, it's like a Truman Show karmic connection, like someone that will run after them if they go to the airport, someone that will always message them. It's someone that has come, got, like they're under their skin and they live under their skin, literally. Everywhere this person go, they feel they're behind and like one day there's, there's something, there's a karmic connection basically. It's, that's what I guess karmic is. It's, you can't explain it. Uh, it's, it's meant to happen to people and it's when it's you're stuck in it I guess that's pretty fucked up but um yes yeah, just someone here they're just they, they there is something wrong with their health um and yeah watching looking perception stalkings yeah calm juiced a girl with a snake someone could be giving them something I feel this is someone dealing with some kind of addiction. Like some, someone has something that they are addicted to. They are addicted to what this person give them. What is it? Okay, I need to get... Uh, here we go. What is it? Why is the girl with a snake? Why is the girl with the snake? Chant or used. Someone could be born the year of the snake. Uh, which year of the snake is coming up next year. So this person, see, someone see here, they're like, I'm the only one that can tame you. I can play with lions, I can play with snakes. You know, look, our family's so happy, but then we'll make sure that no one leaves the house and we all stay very confused. And it's like tower moment one day, there's stress. Yeah, some, some days they can turn things around, but they never take a leap of faith. It's like really messed up. Your person might be in jail or there's threats of going to jail. They are living an outrageously wild lifestyle. They're constantly sleeping. They get some kind of attention. They live in some kind of underworld. It's as if they're, they made another world in their world. Yeah, they have a world in their world. And this world, like they made it very exciting. It's like they own, only them have access to this world. It's quite like, okay, when if you see the chariot here, and if you have the chariot here with a rider weight card, maybe not this one, uh, not this one. Oh gosh, I have so many chariots here, but it's different. It's like a punk. It's a, it's a different chariot. Yeah, see this one here is nice. It's got a nice armor, nice suited and booted. You know, it has the, um, it ha oh, here we go. It has the, um, like the, the curtains, right? If it's raining or, you know, if you want to, you can, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's like royalty. For royalty, that's how you travel. But this person here, this person here is, um, they have like a, a knife here. They could, you know, they have a, it's different. There's a different setup. <laughs> it's different setup here. Um, yeah, it's, they're living rough. But at the same time, it's like they're used to it. Rough, it's, it's not rough compared to where they live, maybe. And there is something about they have the support of people around them. They know the streets. Um, they have some power within this uh, this group they're in, but there is always rivalry, there's always drama, like there's never one day without drama, and there is no love there. There's always a lot of pain, uh, and like nothing lasts forever, but there's something about them, they have some kind of addiction, 
there and this to fuel their mental uh, illness uh, as well i feel like it's something it's something unusual and like it's something really unusual like this person could be a self-confessed narcissist and someone just like is agreeing with it and like kind of telling them that they oh you know, they're worshiping them because in in their world that is that is how everyone should be there's something really messed up and uh, like there is like a cult or something there's a cult uh, like it's a cult, they do things that is unjust and they are sort of, like they're making their own rules, rules within this community. They steal as well. Uh, there is like a lot of, like there it could be like some kind of fetish, like underworld as well. And they feel like they're like, oh, we can do whatever we want. Uh, there is something about, like they like they do what people do in movies, I'm picking up, like when it comes to, to stealing money, they practice uh, black magic as well on people, they could practice black magic on you, but it doesn't really work on the black magic anymore. And uh, maybe it did work because there was more of a cord between you and this person. There is like people being appointed to be like leaders within this pack. Now that they, they're trying to like, I'm seeing like they're trying to graduate, so, gr someone's graduating uh, and to say like, oh, well, it's time that we, it's time that we let you go out in the real world so you can pull in some, you know, pull someone in. They're trying to pull you in, but I don't see that's that's not possible. But be careful because someone is like, they, it's like they're grooming someone to, it's like they, they live off like messing with people, like, and they, and they always come back. There is some kind of cult, I swear. There is something not right. There is like a cult. They're like addicted to it. But what they don't know probably is that when this person leaves, they, they won't come back. Like they could even do things like they sacrifice people and stuff like that. Like they could be into, it's like, well, it's like when you see the Vikings, the old Vikings, you know, how they sacrifice people. Like they could be into stuff like that. Like a different religion and they are like, well, this is the right religion. Like it's very weird. It's an underworld. It's an underworld. But the thing is, this person here, they have a love for you. Like they have love for you. And you are like that tree of love that they want, you know. But... Yeah, be careful to connect with this person here. They are not right in the head. And definitely not people that is around them as well. Now, what they don't know is that, again, you are you have moved on. There's a ringleader with them and they're like, oh, well, things are boring now. We're going to send them back out again. Yeah, sending them back out, out to cause trouble and then bring your stories back and they're sending them to you. And like, they live in a different planet completely. And they might be thriving during this energy because now you have the, you know, the, the transit Venus to Saturn. So it's like thriving a bit of, in a bit of conflict as well. I mean, someone live, they live in the darkness. They live sort of in the the dark alleys at night, like it's very, but again, it's like their world. I mean, it's it's just, if you dive into that world, you could go a little bit crazy. So who is the King of Cups for the collective? So, King of Cups, I hope it's not them. <laughs> There's someone here that is, they wear different. Yeah, be, you might meet someone, if you're meeting a Pisces, Leo, that you don't know, there is someone, there is someone that's, that's showing up in different armors, yeah. There is someone who's trying to, how weird. Yeah, see, yeah, there is someone. Yeah, that's the person you need to stay away from. Someone here is being sent out from this group to contact you and they're going to seduce you. They, they, they're, they're going to seduce you, but I feel here, yeah, this is not, this is not the person that you're supposed to be with. Why is spirits telling me that? It sounds really strange, I know. Yeah, see, three of swords. It's been a heartbreak. 
where they are. It's been a, a breakup of a home or something like that. This person. See, someone is doing magic behind this person. It's like a love spell. There's something not right about this person approaching you. I would not go near them. There is absolutely something not right about someone approaching you very fast. Um, like coming in with an offer very fast. They could be Catholic. I'm getting that for some. And they're coming out of a broken home. You, they're running into you and they're like, ooh, this is, this is great. This is my lucky day. Stay, stay away from this person. <laughs> There's someone here that... Uh, yeah, they're just a bit much. And so I would definitely, definitely, definitely stay away from someone. They're quite, like a leech. Yeah, that's just a very weird energy. Really, I'm going to get right out of it. Because here, collective, you have this new world. You're with this official person. I feel like you are protected here. But there is just like a wild energy around you, wild. And it's as if they all want some shares in you. They see you as someone very powerful. Uh, this is someone that could go in and out of healing, you know, but there's something about this person. They, they, they are broken. There is someone here that is broken. You know what I'm getting? Like the, I don't want to see a movie, a twilight, when um, they see themselves in the sun, the person is in the sun, you know, then he looks different, completely different. It's like, you know, it's obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a dead person, but when the sun shines, you can see that it is a dead person, you can see their skin, you can see they're a vampire, that's what I'm getting. This person, they thrive at night, you could be Someone is going to give you a lot of attention. Now, if you want this attention here, you could have a lot of like, good time, but this person is broken. There's not, this person is not someone <laughs> you should, uh, well, get to know this person and not, uh, not at night. There's something about them that is very, very, like, it, it's like, yeah, you can enjoy this person if you are away. So there could be someone you meet whilst you're away there, but this person, if they tell you, oh, well, here's an, we, we're going to meet later on or something, or, you know, we're going to meet in the future. I see that uh, you should turn them down. Like, this is, this is like a 24-hour person. It sounds really brutal, but that's what I'm guessing. Because you have someone that is very, again, this is someone that will take their time. They are not flamboyant. Uh, and compared to these other energies around you, collective, they're going to seem very boring. But... You already have created like a very safe foundation for yourself. And I also, also feel here there is like a third party energy that is trying to kind of do something so that you get confused. There is just someone intervening here. Make sure you stay protected. In terms of your spirit guides, uh, I'm picking up here. Don't rush anything, especially not with your finances. Definitely, def definitely, definitely not. I'm picking up that someone is watching someone also um, move on. What, what is this about? Someone, like there has been a tower moment and you could go from hermit to, to travel. That, that You could be like, okay, boom, I'm out there. And then you meet love. See, there's something like that. Because I keep getting, like, someone is coming from hermit mode. Maybe someone, someone has been in jail or it doesn't have to be jail. But there is something about being out in the cold, being tucked away from the world, being away. And then suddenly, boom, the sun is there. Like there is something about like, and, and love coming out of nowhere, which is great, but there is just something like, it, it has to be looked at. Because when it comes to you, you have this strength, you're so abundant, you're so fresh, you are, have so much to offer, and someone here is very much depleted, but there is 
like a strong connection, but that's because you might not recognize, you might not recognize, it's, you know the feeling if, when you, if you, if you, well, now I can't really compare it to myself anymore, but well, back in the days, as we say, uh, when I used to party a lot, and when I finished like uh, the season, I was like, oh my God, I'm never gonna do that again, I wanna die, I feel so terrible. And then, you know, new season and then I buy tickets and stuff and I like, you know, oh, I feel so fresh. I can't imagine how it will feel like to, you know, be exhausted because all you think about it, you're going to have fun. That's what I'm getting here. It's like you, there's someone because you have healed your heart, you feel great, you feel like, yeah, you don't have any worries in the world and boom, someone is like, latches onto you and it could feel like, it is like there's so much fun but then there's something they just hold back from this person. I just see that hold hold back, like not because it has to be a bad thing, but because someone, there is something behind them. So there's a few situations here. Take it slowly, definitely take it slowly. Someone is coming out of mayhem. You have quite a few options around you, uh, collective. And, and this, it could very well be this person, to be honest with you. You will know, but they are leaving hell. And, and, and I, I see, you know, there are so many energies around this. You're reading like it's completely crazy. Uh, you have someone from the past uh, in your life. Someone is searching for you, starting a new cycle, healing. See, but the devil, they're from this underworld. There is something in their underworld. Can they tame that? Can they, have they tamed that? Can they keep that in? That's the thing. That's something there. You, yeah, there is something behind someone. If you are moving towards someone from the past, there is someone that has something there. That's what it keeps uh, telling uh, me. So keep someone on an arm's length. Um, yeah, pretty much. For many of you, you are moving away from someone you know you're moving away from someone. Like if you know that this person hasn't changed, this person, then it's not them, then it's them trying to get to you while you are moving on with someone else. So there are various situations here, but there is definitely in the, in the midst of this reading, there is someone here that you don't want to be touching with a stick or like there is just everything around them is so lethal it's so like dangerous almost like it's just so wrong in so many ways like even if this person is good looking or this person anyone that sort of launches themselves at you in the very near future that is like too over the top too much too loving too kind too generous yeah it's like your protection uh, protection is to know when to go into hermit because there is a love, true love around you. Um, for sure, there is a union here that you're meant to be with. I feel like it's with an official person. Um, yeah, I, I see the person that you will move forward with. This is very healthy relationship, but the saying that you have to kiss a lot of frogs and one of them turns into a prince or princess, that's there. So make sure that you, you know, you don't invite these frogs in <laughs> to, uh, you know, it depends where you are. I, I'm picking up that some of you might even be traveling or like if you are like in a complete unfamiliar surroundings when you meet someone, yeah, it's just something about you. you don't have to share your identity here. You will definitely have very exciting, like I'm picking up an exciting exciting end of June, exciting beginning of July. Like this will be very exciting. Yeah, well, let's not let's not uh, hold back on that. It's very exciting. You have a lot of attention on you. Definitely a lot of attention. But as all this attention come towards you, like there is, like you, you would think like you live in a candy land of uh, attention, love, and yeah, you're like, wow. Oh, like I've been in hermit mode for so long. Like, Gosh, I'm going to really, truly make up for it. Like, what could possibly go wrong? But uh, stop a little bit. There is someone here that, you know, it's like the, uh, you know, what, this, 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 uh, what would you call it? Yeah, well, I can't speak, so I better, better stop. But that um, barbed wire, barbed wire. 
There's barbed wire between here. You know what I mean? You, it's like when you go in some of these, well, you have that in London as well. You're, you're in one beautiful street one day and you don't, you want to stay in that beautiful street. But if you, if you don't check the map and if you think that every street's like that, no, it's not. It's never like that as you can go out or, or in a wrong, in a street. And if you don't wear your bulletproof vest or if you don't, if you're not aware of it. And if you walk there with your eyes closed, all right, then you're gonna, then you're gonna meet someone you don't want to meet here that's it you'll meet a lion a lion that uh yeah there's someone here that's attached to someone or yeah i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> because this reading uh has come to an end wow collective please like subscribe uh and uh yeah leave a comment thank you i'll see you see you very soon